Word 2010 has a new feature called Text Effects that can help you spice up your text and it can be found on the Home tab in the Font group, just here. When we click on the button, a gallery opens up at the top that contains all the text effects that we can apply, but down below are the elements that go to make up those text effects and we're just going to focus on those first. What we'll do is select some text so that we can see how these different elements affect that text. So here we go, let's select the text in the heading and just open up the text effects window here. Now first of all, outline affects the border of the text and you can see that we can change the colour of the outline here. So just to demonstrate, I'll change it to be red. And if we deselect the text, we can just about see that. Um, let's make the text bigger so that we can see the change more clearly. There we go. So I don't know whether you can see that red outline there, but it, it is there. As well as the colour, we can also change the weight of the outline. Now weight is simply how wide the outline is. So if we go back into the outline, hover over weight, and this time let's choose a really wide outline like this. Now that's just silly. We, we can't see the, the actual text now because it's all outline. So let's go back in there and change it to something a little narrower, like two and a quarter points. There we go. OK, I still think it's uh, a little too wide, so let's go back in and reduce it to 1. There we go, that's, that's much better. And let's have a look at some more options we have for outline. In addition to the outline appearing solid, as is selected at the top, we can also have a dotted outline. And if we decide that, after all, we don't want an outline at all, we can go back in and just choose No Outline. And it's gone. Shadow does what you'd expect. It adds a shadow to the text uh, that can be positioned at different angles in relation to the text. So let's just select our text again and go in here. If we want more control over how the shadow looks, we should explore the shadow options. And that opens up the Format Text Effects window with the Shadow tab selected. Here we can change things like what colour the um, shadow is, how transparent it is, we can just drag the slider like that, and so on. For now, let's just choose one of the presets, just to get a feel for how the shadow looks. Um, let's just choose this one. There we go, and you can just about see a, a nice shadow on that text now. OK, let's take that shadow off. There we go, no shadow. And it's pretty much the same with reflection too. At the top you've got um, a selection of presets for reflection uh, and at the bottom we've got reflection options. Uh, I don't know whether you've noticed, uh, you probably can't see properly. I'll just roll the screen up a little bit so that the gallery doesn't obscure what's going on. We'll go back into reflection. As you hover over each uh, image thumbnail, you get to see a live preview of what the effect will look like without actually having to apply that effect. So we can just go through the different ones and pick one that we like. OK, let's undo that by pressing Ctrl Z on the keyboard and we'll go back in to Reflection Options. And here we've got lots of control over things like um, how transparent the reflection is, how big it is, and so on. 
Actually, this format text effects window is quite useful because it gives us access to all the other elements that make up the text effect, like the text fill, that's what colour fills the text. At the moment it's blue, but we can change that. Let's change it to green. Uh, text outline, we've seen that before. Shadow, we've seen that, and reflection. Uh, if we want to, we can give the text a glow. And let's choose a preset for this one. There we go. And moving down, 3D format will allow us to make the text look a bit more solid, a bit more 3D. And uh, there are lots of options here. Right, so we've seen the individual elements that make up a particular text effect. If we open up the text effect window again, um, the gallery contains preset text effects that somebody has carefully put together, which contain those individual elements. So this one, for example, if we just click on that, that text effect contains um, outline. It looks like it's got a, a small bevel on as well. The beauty of text effects is when you apply them, um, the text remains as text. So if we add some more text, like so, then the text effect gets applied to the new text too.